All right, folks, back from our Spy Fox Hold the Mustard. We're still in Florida today, but this time we're at the Kennedy King Space Center. King Conglomerate is loading a fleet of space shuttles with tomatoes. But why would King Conglomerate be ferrying tomatoes into space? That's for you to find out, Spy Fox. You know it, Monkey Penny. We'll be right on it. Florida Space Center. Now we got the tomatoes back again. That's why there were no there were no tomatoes in the rest of Florida because the Kennedy Space Center took them. Dane at NASA. That's not cool. Oh wow. Uh, I don't remember the Space Center being like the Taj Mahal. Gotta gotta admit, seems a little strange. Okay, now now fans are picking up. Look at all those enemies. Oh my goodness. Well, I, I guess be careful what you wish for. No, I never did play the one-stop fun shop games. I have no idea what those games even are. And they did not come in the, uh, the Steam bundle. Which is how I got most of these other games. Ow! Don't worry, Quack! I did it to save the tomatoes! You cost hundreds of thousands of dollars in damages to the spy mess to save tomatoes? Which are like 50 cents a piece. Well, when you say it that way, it sounds absurd. Wow. How in the world are you supposed to fight back against all these ships? There's too many of them. He's got NASA on his side. I played Cheese Chase on my channel in a previous Backyard Baseball season. I like this a little bit more than Cheese Chase because it doesn't get as brutally difficult as Cheese Chase does. Although, we might be about to find a difficulty spike here. Wow! Well, that is the thing about the Junior Arcade games. You never quite know when the end of the game will be. Although, most Junior Arcade games have 100 levels or more. I think, in fact, I think the only Junior Arcade that does not have at least 100 levels is Maze Madness. And it's one of the reasons why I like Maze Madness so much. Because if Maze Madness had 100 levels, that would be way too many. Well, we've lost a lot of tomatoes. That's okay, we don't need to save them all. We just need to save... Actually, I'm not sure if we really need to save any of them. We just need to get rid of all the ships. Why do they have barbed wire outside, the, outside of NASA? Like, I get if you want to protect your space secrets from, like, the Soviet Union or whatever, but I feel like barbed wire ain't keeping them out. <laughs> you need something a little bit more. Interesting. Might have to look into that. Yeah, they took two tomatoes. That's okay. They're allowed to have two tomatoes. Spy Fox doesn't get to keep them all in for himself. Alright, let's go blast some tomatoes, shall we? I mean, blast the spaceships carrying the tomatoes, of course. We would never dream of destroying the tomatoes. I'm guessing the green stuff is solid, and we don't want to hit it. Quack will give me an earful if I destroy any more spy messes <laughs> without good cause. Look, Spy Fox, if you lose to, like, a boss fight, I get it. If you just crash willy-nilly into, like, simple ships carrying tomatoes, that's a little harder to explain to the finance department. I, I bet you could get them off eBay from the right buyer for pretty cheap. That's how I had to get the Blue's Clues games. Although I still haven't been able to find Blue's Clues treasure hunt for relatively cheap. Ooh. That's what we need. Spy Fox, stop doing that! <laughs> Is the wire from William the Kid's evil? Ooh, is that, like, continuity? Ouch! I thought we still had homing uh, missiles. Uh, 
apparently the jet cannot fly faster than gravity. Ouch. Or can't accelerate faster than gravity, because gravity's not a speed. It's a rate of acceleration. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's great. Fill up on the gas, and go and have a blast. That's the Spy Fox way. <laughs> maybe, if there are this many spaceships, I feel like maybe we should have another spy agent help Spy Fox out a little bit. Hey, Quack, you're always complaining about what a bad job I'm doing and that you could do better. I never said I could do better, Spy Fox. <laughs> I gotta work on the sidelines. <gasps> that was almost stupid. If I had died at the, for the last one, that would have been bad. Uh-oh, they took one tomato. I feel like they're not doing a very good job of taking the tomatoes if they're only able to take one or two when they vastly outnumber me. The levels at this point are pretty much all the same length. Oh boy, an extra spy mess. Thanks, Quack! Well, I just figured you probably needed it. No, that doesn't look like the evil villain jail. That just looks like some generic science buildings. Aperture science. So I, be I better save her plane, this, because I have a dentist appo appointment tomorrow, and I hate dentist appointments. So I'd, mu I'd much rather be playing this than having my teeth picked for an hour. <laughs> and having to explain why I don't floss, even though I should. I do floss, just not as much as I should. It's a, it's, what's the word for, like, when you know what the right thing to do is in your mind, and you, like, agree it's the right thing to do, and you agree you should do it, but you still just don't do it. Is there a word for that? It's like your mind and your heart are just segregated, and it's like, okay, the smart thing to do is to floss. You know, to... for, uh... Acrasia? Is that the word? Yeah. I, I, suffer, I suffer from a chronic case of that. I'm like, I know exactly what to do. And then it's like, so did you did it, right? What? Bee Bear is not a secretly spy, as far as I know. Although, she probably would be a pretty good spy, given how strong she is. I'll need some fuel. Well, um... Okay. You know what? That's fine. I don't think we went for the fuel gauge yet. Thank goodness. <gasps> what? I'm sorry? <laughs> I need to dance. No, no. I need to floss my teeth. I'm good about brushing. I'm very good about brushing. I'm just not good about flossing. Because flossing it takes a little bit more time and is a little bit less comfortable. <laughs> you know what's gonna happen? They're gonna be like fret, fr not fretting, but they're gonna. When I get the warning of like, hey, if you don't start flossing, you're gonna get root canal. You're gonna need root canals. I'll be like, okay, no, I'll floss, I'll floss. <laughs> That's how it's gonna be. <laughs> Because thus far, I haven't really had to deal with any consequences of not flossing. I've had the odd cavity, but those aren't that big of a deal. Especially when you have the spy dental plan. I'm just glad I've, I finally found a dentist that didn't constantly pester me about flossing. Because the dentist I had growing up, like, don't get me wrong, they were good at what they did. But man, they would just not stop hounding you about flossing. Ouch. 
I get that that's their job, so they probably... It's probably good that they do do that, but it, it's still annoying. Especially since, like, to this day, I keep getting conflicting advice from dentists about how to floss and also how frequently you floss. I thought I blasted that guy. Alright, the levels are actually getting tough now. Because well, I've had some I've had some hygienists be like, oh, when you floss, you should just like you should be gentle and like go like a little deep, and then I've got the, the hygienist that's just like, you gotta like get in there and like wrist rub really hard, and if your gums are bleeding, that just means you're weak. It's like, um, no, my gums are bleeding because you literally have been poking my gums for the last hour. <laughs> And also, you just, like, rammed a piece of string in my gums and then moved it back and forth. They're going to bleed if you do that. It's like, no, if you do it enough, they won't. That, that sounds like if you punch yourself in the arm enough, eventually you won't care that you're punching yourself in the arm. It's like, yeah, but you're still punching yourself in the arm. Also, I feel like at this point, human civilization probably should have invented a better method of getting, like, the plaque out of your teeth than flossing. Like, I feel like it wouldn't be that hard to invent something better, right? I haven't seen Little Shop of Horrors, but... Again, it's not like... <sighs> I shouldn't say I hate the dentist, but, like, come on, nobody likes sitting in a chair and getting their teeth picked for, a ha like, an hour. Nobody likes that. I used to have very bad fear of the dentist, and I've moved past that. It's more just I'm like, ah, this is gonna stink. Don't crash this time, thank you. Pretty sure one of them has escaped. At least. Choo -choo. Not only that, but I'm too old to get the toy from the No Cavity Club. <laughs> There's some ways... Of, oh, maybe I'll have to just look into that. But I, I feel like if there was, they would have told me about it. I feel like the, the dentist can make bank be like, Hey, if you hate flossing, there's a way easier way of doing it that's great. It just costs you $5,000. Like, I'd be tempted to, to invest in that. If it makes it way better than flossing, like, I might, you, I would, have, at the very least, if I spent $5,000 on a super flosser, I would actually floss more out of principle. Like, I spent $5,000 on this. I'm going to use it. <laughs> it's weird how our priorities. <laughs> that's, that's weird. That could motivate me. Like, hey, if you don't floss, then your teeth are going to decay. And, like, you're going to have problem, dental problems down the line. It's like, nah, it's like, oh, well... If you don't floss, you're gonna have wasted five thousand dollars. Like, can't do that. <laughs> yeah, give me the spy floss. Sounds great. They already have the X-ray gum, so. Oh, the dentist would be better if they had X-ray gum there. Ow! <laughs> I'm sorry, I suggested it. <laughs> King Kong Glomerate did not like that idea. Oh, hey, a health refill. So that's what the blue one does. Good, you needed it, Spy Fox. Who let the peanut gallery in? It's weird that both of Spy Fox's junior... Wait, hang on. No. It's weird that both of Spy Fox's junior arcade games are about taking back food that other people have stolen. Like, I guess the first Spy Fox game was about, like, the dairy industry, but, like, the other two didn't really have anything to do with food. You know, I probably... What I probably should do is just hang out near the top. Because eventually the ones that are low down will just move up towards me. Ouch! <laughs> No, see, I no, I would not use the laser toothbrush on my teeth, per Monkey Penny's suggestion. Although the laser toothbrush would be pretty baller. 
I'll need some fuel. All right, if you insist, Spy Fox. We'll get to the Spy Diesel Station. Shoot. Oh, man. The first Spy Fox game is just a masterpiece. I was actually, earlier today, I was mentally ranking all the Junior Adventure games, and I think Spy Fox and Dry Serial takes my number one spot. Like, my top three Junior Adventures are Spy Fox, Dry Serial, Pajama Sam, uh, No Need to Hide When It's Dark Outside, and then Fatty Bear's Birthday Surprise. I also really like Puppet Enders the Reese. There we go, Florida Space Center, level five. Oh boy. <laughs> That's one way to fight cavities. Yeah, he had the good one-liners. He really did. Ouch. Oh, I also remember as a kid, because I, I had to go to the orthodontist to get braces to straighten out my mouth. Uh, I remember as a kid just being like, man, being like the head orthodontist was like an amazing job. Because I swear, every time I went, like the head orthodontist would basically just come over and just be like, hey, open your mouth, bite. Just be like, okay, you need this. And then we'd just walk off. That's all she did. And like, she was going to Hawaii like two weeks every month out of the year. Like... I'm just like, who are you? Huh? And like, you can pay that much just to be an open bite. You're, you're good. I'm like, I could do that. <laughs> Let me go to Hawaii. Freddy Fish 4 is the best Freddy Fish game out of the Junior Adventures. Maze Madness is the best out of all Freddy Fish games. Ouch. The free pajama... <laughs> the only free Pajama Sam games are all, like, ridiculously good. I think the first one is the best. Vanquish? Is that fun? Um... What hit me? Just out of curiosity, was there a ship there that I didn't see because I was looking at chat? Because as far as I can tell, I just spontaneously combusted. I have no idea what just happened there, but I... Oh, well. We'll continue. I wish the invincibility lasted maybe a little bit longer. Whew! That was close. Most of the ships are in the center, it looks like. The dentist has a support dog for him? Or he has a support dog for the patients who have, like, anxiety around the dentist? Because that actually would be kind of genius. Especially if, if, like, you're young and you've got bad... Oh, that would be great. Of course, if you were like me as a kid and had a fear of the dentist and of dogs, then that probably wouldn't have worked out so well. Yep, I still have a retainer. I'm at the point where I really only use my retainer once a month, though. Like, I'll, I'll sleep with my retainer in, like, literally one day every month. And that seems to be working. Oh, the other, the other thing that's annoying about the dentists is when you get the really chatty hygienists. And, like, they're trying to have a conversation with you, and I'm like, okay, first off, I'll need some fuel. I'm very introverted. Please, I don't like talking to random people, especially if I'm, like, in a hostage situation, essentially. Also, I literally cannot talk to you because you've got five different tools in my mouth. Spy Fox, I know you're angry about the dentist, but do you have to ram the spy mess into everything? <laughs> Sorry, I just, I get really worked up. <laughs> S 
Spy Fox is like so bored with his mission. He's just like, quack it. I really hate it when you go to the dentist and this happens. Like, okay, Spy Fox, I sympathize with you, really. Actually, I don't because I don't have teeth. <laughs> Ducks don't have teeth. That sounds great. <laughs> I need some fuel. <laughs> We're getting the exact same song for every level. That's okay. This is, this is a bop. I could really use an extra mess. Nope, health refill that we don't need. Wonderful. Support cats are a lot harder to, um... They don't work quite as well as support dogs. Support dogs, you can, you can train dogs very, very well. You can't really train cats. Because, like, if you go back, like, dogs were domesticated because we're like, hey, dogs, <laughs> if we take the time, can be crazy useful, like, in, like, so many ways of our life. Like, they can help with, like, agriculture, they can help with, like, defense, and they can help with war, like, etc. Like, they have crazy good smell, and, like, like, we can work with this. So, like, we literally bred dogs for thousands of years to, like, help us do our jobs, and they're crazy good, and they love us now. Cats were tamed, basically, like... Man, there are all these stupid rodents eating our crops. Oh, hey, there are these, like, furry things that eat the rodents. And they don't eat the crops. We'll let them hang around to eat the rodents. And the cats are like, hey, wherever these people are, there are rodents we can eat. <laughs> like, and they don't eat us. Cool. Well, like, so it's, it was more like a mutual, like, hey, if you help us out, we'll help you out kind of thing. Not, we didn't train cats, like, at all. Cats also can't really be trained to that regard, because they're, they're, they're too independent. Dogs, dogs are pack. Dogs work in packs where you've got like, like wolf packs and all that. So like, dogs kind of see you as a member of the pack. So there's a strong camaraderie there. Cats are a lot more independent in the family systems. So it doesn't quite work as well. No, that's true. But you know, that's all that was needed. You know, back in the day when like rodents were a severe problem. Fuel. Cats were super useful. And now that we're like, cats are so cute, they're still useful, just in a different way. <laughs> Where would YouTube be without cat videos? It would be a worse place without cat videos, I can tell you that. I'll need some fuel. No, you won't. We're good. <laughs> Yeah, I have to imagine a support cat at the dentist office probably wouldn't work well. The cat would be, like, cr trying to, like, walk on you while the, like, tools are in your mouth. They're going to be batting, like, the squirting tool while they're, like, like it's not going to work well. <laughs> but here's the problem. Like, dogs, even if they don't want to do something, like, they'll do it if they see you as, like, the alpha. Cats are not that way. If a cat does not want to do something, the cat will not do that thing. Dogs are social creatures. Cats are anti-social creatures. And by the way, I say all this as a cat lover. I am definitely more of a cat person than a dog person. I love dogs now. Like, I had a fear of dogs when I was growing up because they were huge and I didn't really understand that like a dog that's like trying to jump all over you is like trying to play with you just like this dog is gonna knock me down and it's huge and admittedly some like one of my childhood best friend had a dog that was not great with people outside of his family so that's probably part of it now I've, I've kind of moved past my issues I'm like yeah dogs are great when they're owned by other people dogs are just a lot of work though Cats, like, you can leave them on their own, and they're like, yeah, I'll just do my own thing. Just make sure you feed me. Dogs, like... <laughs> dogs want you around at all times, basically. And you need to walk them constantly. It also depends on the dog. I'm a fan of medium-sized dogs. Like, Labs, Golden Retrievers, like... They're kind of on the large side, but, like... I don't like the really tiny dogs, like the Chihuahuas, that I'm just like, why does this exist? And I also don't... I'll need some I won't fuel. say I don't like, but, like, I would never want to have, like, a gigantic dog as a pet. 
I think, I think I've mentioned it on my channel before. I don't want anything as a pet that could kill me if it wanted to. Big dogs could definitely kill you if they wanted to. House cats could not. I've never had a cat that was a cleany, <laughs> loud nugget. I've had cats that definitely will vocalize when they have opinions about something. I've never had a cat be like, I'm not leaving your sight. I've had, I've had cats that liked to be around people, but I've never had a cat be like, <laughs> constantly howling at you if you don't spend time with it. I think, aren't dogs carnivorous too? I'm pretty sure if you feed your dog lettuce, that dog ain't gonna be eating that lettuce. Vegan cats exist, but we know who's actually making the decisions for that cat. What just happened? Well, that was a mess. Good night, DX. Thanks for joining in. What was that? I didn't even touch the ship, but it made it think that it thought that I did. That was weird. Quack some? That was not my fault. <laughs> well, you could have shot it. I was trying to. Oof. Ouch. <laughs> I just spun it, like, literally. Apparently, an antenna causes massive damage if you fly into it. Well, that's... That's not very usual now, is it? Let's go and... Uh, yeah, okay, I moved the window accidentally, but this is just where we are now. The Space Center needs the strong antennas. Ow! Man! If you have to make a sudden turn, especially if you're at the top of the screen, then it just doesn't work out. And everywhere I go, there's just more spaceships. I feel like private jet flying into an antenna. Both are gonna take damage. The antenna's gonna get wiped out, and the jet's only gonna take some, like, dents. But that antenna literally just stayed still, and was like, I didn't move anything, and then the spy mess was just like, I almost died in one hit. This really- need some fuel. Okay, I'll get on that, Spy Fox. I'm aware. But also, catch up. Please be an extra life. No, it's a full HP refill. Or uh, almost full HP refill. That mess of yours has been fitted with booster rockets. You'll be able to launch into space with them. Which means I can follow King Conglomerate and find out where he is taking those tomatoes. Well done. Oh boy. If only we could have gotten those earlier in the game. That would have been pretty nice. <laughs> oh boy, outer space. That seems like it could be the final world of the game, or second to last world, and that's going to be a great stopping point for us. Thanks for joining in, everybody, and thanks for letting me rant about my trip to the dentist that will happen tomorrow. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Friday we'll be continuing with game 11, and maybe finishing Hold the Mustard. We'll just have to wait and see. Anyways, ciao everybody, have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless.